Good morning, folks. We've got pop science news. The big earthquakes return. An insane weather event surrounded the observers yesterday, and so let's see it all, starting at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on our star were extremely quiet. Big coronal hole swinging through on the south. Active region, not having any sunspots, just a calm and stable plasma filament. We had no solar flares and no eruptive behavior, and the solar wind even stabilized at the modest stream intensity, but with that stability leaving geomagnetic conditions quieting down. More solar wind coming from those coronal holes about three days away from impact. Of course, yesterday we informed you that the earthquake risk period was here, and that didn't take long, did it? 7.5 striking, luckily way below Ecuador blot echo depths should mitigate the damage. All South American quakes preceding it over 24 hours were blood echoes as well. As you should remember, this does not end the risk period as the solar polar fields are readying to peak negative. This forecast was for an uptick, and we're just getting started. So an unfathomable thing happened in Flagstaff, Arizona yesterday, and I should know. I was there. After every conference, we like to drive the kids around the southwest, and whoops. This is all we saw in Arizona yesterday. We counted over 25 cars and trucks off the road in the first 30 minutes out of Flagstaff. And when we were only a skip away from Phoenix and expected the snow to quit, nope. It just thinned out and added some ice and sleet, 35 miles from Phoenix, Arizona there. This was indeed the most epic snowfall in the region's history. And here comes Binghamton explaining to us why it's important to include cold in the climate change discussion. Yeah, thanks guys. Pretty cool Earth Observatory release last night showing the precipitation changes to grazing areas and the effect these are having on pasture quality and market effect. Full article is linked for you below. Up next is the ESA showing former water flows on Mars. They are exploring these in great detail for a future lander mission. Let's go out a bit further to the Whirlpool Galaxy in M51. Awesome new composite shots that highlight the companion galaxy at the tail. Of course, the Whirlpool itself is of much greater interest because it's the best spiral galaxy we can study to learn about our own from deep inside where the sun stands. And speaking of galaxies, nice little shot at dark matter and galaxies here and how the evidence against its existence is either impossible to overcome or requires a complete overhaul of the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model. I vote for either one, as long as it happens. We greatly appreciate your support. The earthquake uptick is here, right on schedule, more coming over the next few weeks. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.